Wow, hello my people. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. Your wish has always been my command. Thanks always. Well, meanwhile, this is another one. Alright, this is another one. Seven killed in fresh attack in northern Nigeria. No fewer than seven persons have been killed in fresh attack and repressals in Jema local government area of Kaduna State. The incident occurred in the early hours of Sunday at Ongwan Bido village where some local residents were killed and four injured. Also, two children are still missing. The incident was confirmed to Channels Television by the State Commissioner for Internal Security and Home Affairs, Samuel Harwan, who added that four houses were burnt down by the attackers. He said Sunday's attack follows a report a reported killing of one header, Isiaku Sahidu of Ongwan Pa village on Saturday by unknown persons with deep knives caught on his head. Meanwhile, Governor Nasir Herufai has condemned the fresh attack and loss of lives in Jema local government and has directed security agencies to investigate and arrest all persons involved in the criminal actions. While he condoled with the families of the deceased and the injured ones, Herufai appealed to security agencies, traditional rulers and community leaders to continue to work with the state government to sustain the community peace building. F peace building efforts being supported by the Kaduna state government. He also directed the state emergency management agency, SEMA, to a matter of urgency provide relief materials to citizens whose houses were burnt as well as those injured in the attack. All right, this had been said so far. Wow, wonders shall never end. A lot of tragedy have been happening since, no? They always say that when it comes to Ember month, there's always a lot of tragedy of which we have been saying but in the name of jesus henceforth this will never be our portion anymore yet thousands will pass on our right side left side but none will come near us in the name of jesus all right and that is it that is our prayer and so shall it be all right because we are praying this from the bottom of our heart well our prayer is that um the good lord will continue to protect this country yes if not for the prayers of the you no know, the masses we're very sure it would have been worse than the way it is but because of the prayers that you know, a lot of people have been praying at least the whole thing is getting suppressed and we are praying that the good lord will make it permanent permanent victory for all nigerians because we are tired we don't want all these casualties any longer. Nigeria will get to that stage, in fact, to that level, whereby a lot of people will be like, wow, I want to be in Nigeria. Wow, I want to be part of this. I want to you know, travel. Then a lot of you no know, people will not find it difficult because the visa, to get the visa will not be an issue. That is the prayer we are praying. That enforce Nigeria will just be like America. Some people will say, oh, beg, which Nigeria? Oh, God. I tell you, there is nothing God cannot do. That is why you need faith. And without faith, it is impossible to please God. But with faith, anything can happen. And that is what we are saying right now. Well, the good Lord will continue to protect this land because no, the way the whole thing is going, it must not continue the way it is. And Nigerians are praying. All right, and anonymously it is said that with the remaining days in this year, untimely death will not be our portion. Yes, I like that comment. And that is it. 
Amen. So shall it be. All right. This government is just harvesting blood of Nigerians as a change. Hmm, that's another one. Well, with all the modern surveillance gadgets available, the government finds it difficult to fish out insurgents, recall serant cattle herders, killers, and all other strange invaders into Nigeria. It is very strange indeed. Nigeria, the giant of Africa, is slowly going down piecemeal by piecemeal until not even a fly will left alive because of an incompetent and wicked government. Well, this had been said so far by remates, but it will never be our portion because she says something which must not you know, be put in place, which must not be recognized, of which he said that if this continues, that no, no soul will remain on earth, it will never be our portion. This will not continue at all in the first place. We should mind what we say. Well, the thing is, everybody wants betterment. Everyone wants to enjoy. And the for you to enjoy, you need to you know, go through a lot of stress and all that. And in no time, now Nigerians have suffered a lot. And we know that in no time, everything will normalize. And that is our prayer. But meanwhile, we should all endeavor to love each other. You no, know? Love each other. Love your neighbor as yourself. That is what will make the country a better place. All right. And um, it is a known fact that Fulanis do not forgive and they will always revenge any death of their king's men without thoroughly investigating the cause of death. Knowing this fact, government and the security forces should have found a way of protecting these innocent individuals from being slaughtered by these atlas murderers since there are many precedents to learn from instead of waiting aloof and allowed this wicked act hmm. and that is it no man's decent after death that is what they always always give out medicine after death well Everybody needs to just wake up and, you know, be very careful. A lot of them then, they were screaming, say Baba, say Baba. They were screaming, anybody that wants to go against say Baba, they will fight that person and look at what say Baba has done to them. So that is what Nigerians are saying right now. Look at, no security in the north, nothing. They live day by day. I don't know what is going on here. It's only God that will help us in Nigeria, most especially in the north too bad well that is it my people me well let me have your take on this one thanks and god bless